hey guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing guys today we are making stew tomato sauce that's what we are making today we are making it with fish derinka sauce uh, derinka tomatoes is what we'll be using thin, thin tomatoes is what we'll be using so th these are the ingredients i want to use to make the tomato sauce popularly known as stew so let's cook it together so we'll be using catfish and uh, micro fish and uh, beef to make it we we'll use these tomatoes it's called bonnet pepper i will use this vegetable oil also so these are the ingredients i want to use to make it i like uh, enough to use uh, enough um, onions when i'm cooking stew so first i will start by boiling the meat i boil the put I, I put all the ingredients i want to use to boil the meat after the meat boil for some time then i add the catfish all the fish i just add it inside i'm going to fry it later i only want the the sauce to the taste the the water i'm using to cook the meat the i will just want it to enter inside before i fry it i did not cook the fish so much i only let it boil for at least three to, to five minutes then i remove them so now I want to chop this bonnet pepper, it's called bonnet pepper. I don't want to blend it, I don't want it to be so smooth, so that's why I'm using choppy blender to chop it, just to chop it together with the onions a little bit. Just only this called bonnet pepper I'm chopping right now. So I will just So as you can see, it's not smooth. I just chopped it like that. It's not smooth. This is, this is how I want it to, to be. So now I, I brought out the fish from inside. I want to fry it now. I will fry the catfish, the, the macro, uh, macro fish and the meat, the beef. I will fry it now before using it for stew. I like to fry my meat or everything. Or, meat fish that i'm using to cook soup and stew i like to fry it before using it but if you are if you want to cook a uh, tomato sauce sauce if you don't want to fry your your protein it's okay it's also okay just that i like to fry mine before using it I'm also boiling white rice alongside because I want to use it to eat it. So the thin tomato tomatoes, I open it and I I pour it inside the, this bowl so that I can mix it a little bit with water before I can fry it. So I'm still on it frying the the fish and the meat. So I finished frying everything. So this is it's not time for me to start the stew or the sauce. Now I start by by frying the onions, the purple onions and the white onions mixed together. I like enough onions in my sauce, like I said before. So I will fry it, fry the, the onions very well before I will now add the tomatoes to it. 
if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as you watch thanks Oh, my rice is doing well, so we soon finish. <laughs> so I'm mixing the tin tomatoes with water so that I can dissolve it a little bit so it will be easy to fry. This is the time for me to pour the tea tomatoes inside the oil. As you can see, I, I fry it so much so that that taste, that sour taste will be will, will come out, you know. But when you are using tin tomatoes to cook or this, yeah, tin tomatoes to cook, you have to fry it very well before pouring everything. Because if you don't fry it well, well you will be getting this sour taste, you will get getting this biting taste. This taste that when you put your tomato, your stew in your mouth, you'll be getting one type of a taste that make like sour. Yeah. So for you not to get that, you have to fry the the, the tomatoes very well. Make sure you fry it very well. So the, so this is the stock of my meat stock, the, the, the one I use to cook the fish and the meat. So I keep I keep stirring. Don't forget to don't leave it because if you leave it, it will burn. Just keep stirring it, stirring it, stirring it, stirring it until you get how before you until everything is properly fried. So now I add the chopped scald scald burning pepper to it, which is pepper. So I add it to it so that we will keep fry together like that. Keep stirring it so that it will not burn. Just keep stirring like that. Just keep turning it, turning it, turning it around to to prevent burn. So this is I, this is the time for me to add the score, the water from the meat to the stock, the water from the meat to the tomatoes. Just stir it around, and cover it to to boil very well. So now I open it. I, you see that it are properly cooked. The tomato seed, the oil have come up. So now this is the time for me to add the meat, fish, everything that I fry. This is the time for me to add it to it. And this one, I left this one on fry. This is the catfish also. I left this part of fry so I can mix it together. I stir everything together, mix it together, and give it time to cook. Now you have cooked for some time, and look at it. The stew is ready. The tomato sauce is ready. This stew, very, very delicious. Very, it tastes so good tastes so delicious look at it this is so yummy i use it to eat my rice thanks for watching bye